Alright, hello everyone, welcome, this is Char, and today I'm going to be going through all of these subs and specials from the first two Splatoon games and giving my takes on if it should return to Splatoon 3, and joining me for this video will be Gamer. Tell, tell him a little bit. Yeah. Not a, not, this isn't an ego boost, but <laughs> definitely the most mechanical Splatling player. Gamer is a top-level Splatling player, he used to play the game a lot more actively, he was on teams like Saikai and my own team, Prophecy, so that's pretty cool. And we're just going to be going through, we're going to be kind of alternating between the subs and specials. This is kind of a jumbled order on the bottom. I'm going to move this so it's not too many specials in a row. And we'll start with Splashdown. And, I mean, okay, I'll be honest, Splashdown's like, cool concept. I get people like it, because, I mean, it's like, pretty cool. But, uh, it's also trash <laughs> at a higher level play. And I think it's kind of way too simple for a special. Like, especially in 3, when the specials are going to be better. So I, I don't see the point in bringing it to three. It's going the blue for me. Honestly, Smash sounds like it shouldn't be a special. It seems more like an ability. Yeah. Like, it, like an ability that shouldn't kill you, but like it should like do impact damage. And it just doesn't make sense to see it as a special. And it doesn't like, like I feel like every game that has like a special that just like comes out of the air just sucks. Yeah, I mean, I think what they could do if they want to bring this back is, uh, since you super jump from the air to get back into the map, if you super jump into your spawn region, you could do a little splashdown to protect your landings. Like, they could keep it that way. But yeah, I don't think it should be a special special. Bomb Rush, and this, this is for all of them. Uh, so my take is I think it should be revamped. So basically, rather than just having one Bomb Rush, you have a way of alternating. Like, maybe it just does the basic bombs, maybe it does multiple, I'm not sure. But you should be able to, like, switch what bomb you're using. Because I think there's way too many bomb launchers, because they try to split them up to have them in all the different bombs. And it's also just kind of too simple for a special. It's not, like, drastic, it's just too simple. So I think a little bit more depth, get rid of having to have so many bomb rushes, and it makes it kind of its own thing. But Make bomb rushes, like randomized random Actually, no that would be so dumb and like <laughs> terrible for comp but like i don't like bombers i don't think it should be a thing i think it's like i don't know how to explain it i feel like specials you should have at least to put like a some thought to get value into it i feel like that special you can unironically just use it and already get value it's, it's kind of like simple. armor it's like if you click it you just get value out of it and it's like depending on your team at that point so like yeah bombers is just yeah. no matter what you get value out of it yeah i mean I, th I like the bomb launch aspect that they added in two, like throwing it further is better. So I mean, maybe there's something they could do with it. I guess we can move this to a maybe then, but I mean, like, I think it can work if you revamp it, but I do think, uh, like, as is, it's not really the greatest It's special. pretty lame, too. It's not even, yeah. like, a fun special. Yeah, I think they'd have to revamp it. I, I kind of like Splat Bomb Rush, or I guess Burst Bomb Rush used aggressively is a little bit fun, but it's like... Would it be more fun than the new stuff we've seen in 3? Eh, probably not. So, I mean, and maybe there's some rework potential there. Kraken. <laughs> I think Kraken is the most iconic special in Splatoon's history. Maybe second to Ink Zuka, to be fair. Both of those are pretty hotly contested. The concept of turning into a giant Kraken is probably the best thing ever. Uh, that being said, if they want to make it into 3, it'd have to be HP-based and probably not one-shot. And while I think if you revamp the special, that could work, I don't think it probably will work. And I think it's a little bit hard to do, so I mean... I could see this as a maybe if they revamp it, but I think there's better options, honestly, for aggressive specials than Kraken. As cool as it looks. Kraken is like a bailout special more than like, you go in and you kill things, because people are just gonna shoot at you, it's like... The most simple thing ever. I mean, it can't have invincibility. It can't have the startup frames. If your weapon is slow, you can't tame it. And even if it is just a panic button, I'm not sure if I really like that as a special. Like, would I rather turn into a ball that can shoot at things in two different ways, or a special that I can uh, swim around and jump at someone? It's like, I think there's... I think they can save it, but I don't think it's a good idea. So yeah, they're probably just not gonna bring it back. Uh, I, I think mine is fine, personally. I'm of the favor of bringing it back. I know it's not great on short range weapons because obviously they like I to wouldn't, have like, a bomb to poke, but. I want minor changes. And the only yeah. minor change I want to mine is to be able to set it off whenever I want to. Like a C4. No, either don't bring back mines or make C4s. Like I want one of them. Mm -hmm. Either want mines or C4s, and I'd rather have C4s. I know some people have the idea to throw mines, so it's a bit more versatile when you don't have a map, but I don't think that would work super well. But yeah, I think. Auto detonation would be a lot better. I'm not quite sure how they would do that with the limited button mapping, but being able to auto detonate any of them could probably make it a bit better. But I like mines. I think it's 
I think mine and Beacon are both good deployable subs, and they're the only good two deployable subs, so kind of need more of those, so I'm tempted to not really get rid of any of them to begin with, but yeah, I think minor changes is fine. It, it just shouldn't be on short-range weapons, I think is a problem. It's good on long-range stuff, but most of the long-range stuff just doesn't have it. Booyah bomb. <laughs> it's just an off-brand ink strike. It's a better ink strike, but yeah, I think ink strike is better at that point. Like I, mean, I don't know. I think ink strike is too weak and way... I mean, it's not as simple because you do choose where you launch it, but also launching strike would feel terrible not on a gamepad, to be honest, so I don't even like strike for that. Like, imagine launching strike, but you can't tap. Like, you have to move the joystick and then still land it precisely. I mean, I don't know. That seems a little... Eh, I think it's something people will get used to after, like, a few days, but... Maybe. I mean, super jumping worked out, so it's hard to say, but... I kind of like Booyah, because I think it's a panic button that's pretty easily punishable. Like, they could mess with the multipl multipliers a bit, but... At the same time, it's also a bit panicky and simple. I don't know. I'm so torn. I don't think it needs major changes regardless. Like, I think Booyah is mostly fine. I'm just not sure if I really want it back or not. Like, I'm kind of... Like, you can paint over it. So, like, the bomb itself isn't, like, a free cap like it is for bombs or baller or stuff. And you get stuck in the air. It looks amazing. I think this is the best looking special in either game. Like, uh, that concept is crazy. I don't... I think Booyah Bomb could come back, but I think... I think Booyah should have more of a reward, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with that. Maybe they could do like, some minor changes with it's, that. It's advertised as like a, oh, give energy to your team, but it's like, you don't get anything out of it, really. It's like, you, you just, get like 2% eh. special charge. It doesn't make a difference. And it gives away your location, so it's, I mean, sometimes it's not even worth it, so. Yeah, maybe if it was more rewarding for that, but a bit weaker in some other aspect, it could work. Uh, I'd say we could put in this should be, though. I'm more, I'm more for it than against it, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having it back, but I think it should be more of a team oriented, especially than like, a, oh, I pop it to survive or, oh, I just wanted to use it to like get people out of it. Like, yeah. it could be a zoning tool. It's not a bad zoning tool, but I don't think it should be a zoning tool. I think it should be more of a, oh, if you BR for me, you get like more health or something. So, like, if you're yeah, fighting someone, health. maybe, it, maybe like you a get speed like 10 boost HP. Or something? Maybe like a speed boost or something. I think abilities are better to do in terms of buffs. Like, maybe they get a bit faster. Or something or a bit more ink efficient yeah I, I agree though i think that's actually a good idea like have booyah and be more depth so like that would make it more fun because if you have a booyah on your team you get to do more stuff with it so i think that's a good way to add complexity to it without drastically changing it so i'm fine with that but yeah I actually hold on hold on hold on I wouldn't mess if with you, booyah, you get a damage increase hold on okay maybe that's a little far i mean what if you're a one-shot like weapon <laughs> a one-shot weapon then I then, mean, then what <laughs> then it just doesn't matter I'd say it should give something like universal like speed. Like I think speed is easy because there isn't really anything out there that doesn't like swimmer run speed. So I'd say like a little, you know, kind of like how drop roller does. Like when you roll, you get like three seconds of swimmer run speed. Same thing if you boo, you get like two seconds of swim run and ink res or something. That could be cool. I think. I mean, yeah, that sounds that actually sounds nice. Auto bomb. Uh, Terrible. I know. Uh, yeah, well, I was about to no, say I know a lot of people. I think don't we like should it. just skip this sub and then just go to the next one. Um, this is just a useless sub. I don't think it's useless now. I mean, it doesn't Actually, use that much of your ink tank, so it's not as bad Low key, anymore. I think Autobomb's a better torpedo. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is Autobomb and Torpedo impede with each other, but honestly, I kind of like having more bombs in the game. It helps with kits a lot, and I think Auto is fine. It's a good bomb for more ink-hungry weapons, so it doesn't use as much of the tank. Like, I like it for Sorella. And it locates people, but it doesn't, like, give their direct location off. Which is something they should actually change with mine, by the way. It should be more indirect, maybe the white silhouette instead, but... I, I'm li I like Autobomb. I don't want any direct location thing. I'll talk about that later with Sensor and Echo, but... I think Autobomb... Oh, yeah, fine. hold on. Yeah, actually... We'll get to those, though. We'll get to those Get later. this... I think that, like... Okay, low-key, Autobomb should be the only sub in the game that can locate people. And, like, say if you throw an Autobomb and the radius finds, like, two people, like, you can see those two people. Other than oh. that, this game should not have any more wall, like, wall abilities. Like, wall hacks are so stupid. Well, I'm fine with Torp, and I'll get to Torp later. And I'm even okay with Beacon. I think Beacon's wall hacks are fine, too. But I don't- I just don't like any direct, like, point sensor marker thingy. Like, I think it should all be more indirect. Because, like, Autobomb or Torpedo- or, well, Torpedo, they'd have to get away with a little indicator, but Autobomb walks towards someone, it doesn't tell you exactly where there is. I like that kind of middle ground. If that makes sense. Yeah, and you just can't shoot at it. It's like, you literally have to, like, either stop your movement and just become, like, guaranteed where they know where you are or just keep running away. It's like, the position is just, that you just had is now gone. 
Okay, let's get to controversial thing. It's wall time. Uh, I think wall needs a revamp if it's gonna be in the next game. I think wall is trash. Like, it was it was okay in one, because it wasn't on anything crazy other than Sherry, and what one was kind of extreme anyway. But I think two and K52 have highlighted just how terrible wall balance is. Like, compared to Brawler Shields, where everything kind of has an option against it, like bombs, blaster shoot over, etc. Wall is just so unbelievably one-sided. Like, only very specific things are good against it. I think they need to revamp how the HP works and give it, like, Borella Shield multipliers and reduce the height if they want to bring it back. Or I don't even want to back up with that. I think it's just too tanky, and it's like... Yeah, but not against everything. Like, Bomb Shredded, fine, but Blasters will never break it, so it's like... That's why I think it has to be kind of revamped, because some stuff actually does fine, but other stuff doesn't. Ah, uh, Jetpack. So the Zipcaster has a recall, so I, I think they're not going to bring back Pack, because it'd be kind of weird to have two specials with a recall. But I think it would work with minor changes, so I mean, I, I, I'm fine with Pack. I mean, it's a little bit like the more range you have, the better you are at dealing with it. That part's not great, but outside of that, I, I think it's pretty much fine. I just don't think we're going to get it because we already have one uh, recall special. I, I would like to have more aerial things in this game. Like, there genuinely just isn't anything like... Yeah, that's true. That's not a lot of Aerial in this game at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. I just think it's unlikely because of the pack recall, but I can move it higher. I, I'd be fine if pack returns. I just, you know what? I kind of want to move it up because, I mean, I'd be fine if it came back. I just don't think they will, but, like, that, eh, they sh still could. Beacon. Uh, best sub in yeah. the game, by the way. I'm just going to say I, this right now. Chat, this is the best sub in the game. And you guys think it's probably the worst sub in the game, or like not even like mediocre at best, simply because it's only on bad weapons. Like the only good weapon with it is like ball point and ten, and that's it. And ten doesn't even use it that much. Literally, this sub gives you walls. This sub gives you three more options to jump, and you get two like chances with like. So like, if your teammates want to jump to one of your beacons, they get two chances. So like, if they jump to it, it stays there, and then you get another chance. Literally, this is the best sub in the game, undoubtedly. As and long as it's not a short range weapon, I think. Or I think that even then it, it doesn't need to be in the game, to be honest. What? The fact that you can have three more options. Well, technically six more options of jumping spots. And then also have walls. Sounds kind of stupid. I um, think they should nerf like the double jump thing. So you want it and to be in, but you want it to be nerfed. It's either it gets nerfed or... or don't put it in. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just... I mean, what? I don't know are cool, but... I don't think, I just think that like, it actually has the potential of being like, really stupid broken. Yeah, I mean, I think if it's a more aggressive meta, then yeah, beacons will be crazy, and that's part of why they aren't as good right now, and it's also a bit weapon dependent, but yeah, I mean, if 3 is a really aggressive one, if we see like, QR teams come back, then yeah, they're gonna be pretty good. I I'd say the thing that they might need to get rid of is the double jumping to beacon, if it's an aggro meta. I think the location near it is kind of fine, and can lead to some cool stuff, so... Gives it some utility. But yeah, I would get rid of the double jumping if it's an aggro meta. But I mean, I, I'm fine with it being back. I think it should be back. It's a good deployable. I mean, sure, it's like the only utility in the game, kind of. Everything else is just kind of brawly and mm -hmm. use it for yourself. That's like a that's like one of the only utilities in the game right now where it's like, besides Mist, where it's like, it benefits your whole team. Okay. Everything else is just kind of selfish. All right. Well, next up is Rain. This, when Splatoon 2 came out, was, like, my favorite special when I saw, like, you could literally, like, launch a rainstorm on people. I was like, that is so cool. Anyway, they shouldn't bring it back. <laughs> I think it's way too simple for uh, for three. Nah, hold on. I hear just me think out, hear me out. way too simple. Give rain, give rain, like, the launch pad that, um, Ink, Ink Strike has, and you can control the path of it. Yeah, I, I guess, like, if they rework it, it'd have to be... But I, I think this would have to be, like, heavily, heavily reworked in order for it to work. Like, I agree. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, we already, I think we already have could control it, it'd be nice. We already have Booyah. We already might get, like, a bomb rush. So it's like, I think it's just too much. Yeah, controlling it would be cool, but it's also, like, eh. And you kind of can't do anything. Like, you genuinely yeah. cannot do anything against it. It lasts too it, long. Like, I don't mind Whale denying an area because it's short. Same for Booyah. But Rain actually kind of lasts a bit too long for this. Rain is, like, the best zoning tool in this game. But, like, it's just the weapons that it's on right now. I don't know. I, I don't want it back. And with Inkstorm out of the way, that's going to be wrapping up part one of our returning subs and specials tier list. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see the second part, and I will see you all in a future video.